Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing and ordering numbers. This is standard 4.2c in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 20 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got three really large numbers that uh, if you take a look at them right they all start with a three and a five and a four or a four and a five we need to find a comparison that is true and so you notice that all the way across right we're dealing with these less than signs okay so this is going to be less than this so that's going to be kind of a middle and that's going to be less than this that's going to be the greatest so really let's think about that this as like a least to greatest they don't necessarily tell us that, but if we keep saying this is less than this, which is less than this, the smallest one needs to come first. So let's draw a place value chart so we can kind of order our thoughts. And look, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I'm going to kind of separate it like this into periods or families. All right, so this is going to be my ones. This is going to be my thousands. And then this is going to be my millions. And the way I think about this, right, is I can break this up into smaller chunks, right? So I've got my ones, I've got my tens, and I've got my hundreds. So literally just my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. We don't really say the family name there. But once we get into this thousands place, we do say that family name. So I've got 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Now, on the 1,000 spot, we typically just call it the thousands, but it really is the 1,000s. And then millions repeats again. 1 million, or just million, 10 million, and then 100 million. And then it would continue to go on and on and on with billions, trillions, quadrillions, quintillions. So let's just build these numbers, each a different color. And they're all going to go nine digits, so normally you would build them from right to left to make sure you get your place value right. But since I've counted all of these, they each have nice three sets of three, right? We can build them from left to right. So I've got 354 million, right? And then a new family, 835, right? You say the, the chunk itself, 835, and then the family name, thousands. And then 256, and you don't say the family name at the end. All right, so let's do magenta here. So 345 million, family name. 897, family name, 1,000. And then 187, you don't say that last family. All right, and then let's do, let's just do black for this last one. 354, say the family name, million, 855,000, 675. All right, I've built a very detailed place value chart. I've placed all my numbers, and it looks like a whole bunch of strings of digits, but right, I'm looking for the smallest number. So when I'm doing that, um, you always start from the largest place value, and then you move over here. Okay, so I've got a three, I've got a three, I've got a three. That's fine. Move on over one. I've got a five, I've got a four, and I've got a five. So that four right there is automatically going to be my smallest because it's got a four in the ten millions. Three, four, five, eight, nine, seven, one, eight, seven. Now I'm looking for my next one. And I've got to go to the next spot, right? I'm now it's just between these two. So I've got a four and a four, an eight and an eight. And look at this one. It's that three. That three is smaller than the five. So that's going to be 354,835,256. And then this one will be my last one, right? This one comes last. Let's see which one that looks like. I've got my 45, 45. And then I've got my 54, and there we go. That's the one I need, because that's the second one. My answer is C.